It's San Diego Pride Weekend. A spirit of Stonewall rally was held in Hillcrest tonight to kick things off. The Stonewall riots in 1969 were a catalyst for the gay rights movement in the United States and all around the world. CBS 8's Anna Laurel went to Hillcrest, where people are still celebrating right now and are looking forward to tomorrow's parade. This is the first full-scale pride in San Diego in three years because of the pandemic, so people are over the moon to connect with each other here this weekend. They want to support each other in their fight for rights and to celebrate. There's a whole lot of celebrating. San Diego has the most fabulous pride ceremonies in all of leader of the state Senate, President Pro Tem Tony Atkins, helped kick things off at tonight's Spirit of Stonewall rally. Pride celebrations traced their start to a summer night in 1969 when New York City police raided the Stonewall Inn, a gay club in Greenwich Village. That raid and the fight that followed sparked the gay rights movement. If we don't fight for our own community, who will? And if we don't have joy in each other as we're doing that fight, how do we maintain that fight? San Diego Pride says it wants to fight for justice with joy. When you're a discriminated, marginalized community member, your ability to live freely and have joy is justice. San Diego's Pride attracts more than 300,000 people. We met them from everywhere. Do you all live in San Diego? I do. You don't. I don't. I'm from Phoenix. It's a big party, but everyone here also seems to have the same purpose. We have a lot to be thankful for, and we have a lot to still continue to fight for. And politically right now, we're at a crossroads, and it's good to kind of show some support and strength. San Diego's pride is for members of the LGBTQ plus community and their friends and supporters. I'm an ally. There's a lot of people who have been disowned by their community or their family, so I'm giving out mom hugs. <laughs> And tomorrow, CBS 8 will live stream the parade. 260 groups, including floats, bands, and so much more. This level of a celebration would have been unthinkable to me when I was growing up. To have this many people coming out and celebrating being lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer, right? To do that in the sunshine, out in the world. In Hillcrest, Anna Laurel, CBS 8. And as you just heard Anna say this weekend, about 300,000 people are expected to be here in America's finest city to celebrate the LGBTQ plus community. With that said, doctors and health experts say that people heading to Pride should bring a mask with you and practice health safety as best as possible. And if you can't make it, you can still join me and Jesse Pagan. As Anna just said, we are going to be covering the event live. We'll be streaming the parade live at CBS8.com, on the CBS8 app, and all of our digital platforms. And we want you to show us your pride before you head out this weekend. Don't forget to download the CBS8 app, and then you can upload your pride photos all weekend long under the Near Me tab.